Hi, Hi sisters. sisters. James, that was the exact right <laughs> pitch too. <laughs> Oh my god! Hi, Hi sisters! sisters. <laughs> it's literally the perfect bitch. James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see today, I'm joined with a very, very special guest. Hi. Madison Beer! Welcome to the channel, Thank sister! Thank you, I'm so excited. Ah, oh I am so excited to have you here. You guys, Madison and I have been trying to film a video together for like, it's been like three years now. We've yeah, been literally. talking about it, planning it, and now was finally the perfect time. Thank you for coming. Thank you for you don't do videos very often. No, never. I like don't think I've ever done a YouTube video properly. Really? No. <gasps> Period. Loving the first. Yeah. Well, I am super, super excited. As you guys obviously know, it is October. It is Halloween time, spooky season. And also, Madison just came out with a brand new collaboration with Morphe. Yeah. You guys know I absolutely love them. And the palette is super, super cute. And we thought it'd be really, really fun today to sit down, do a fun Halloween look together. Obviously, using her new collection and talking about her new music, everything that she's working on, and a whole lot more. So if you guys want to join us, Keep on watching. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go right in with some foundation and I'm first gonna use a little bit of Dior. This stuff flash. scares me. I sprayed it on my face and my entire hairline. Okay, so that's what you don't do. That's what I did when I first started too. You have to spray it on like your hand or a palette. Oh, that makes a lot of and sense. then you just apply it on there. Makes more sense. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna mix these. Oh, I have to burp. Okay. I don't wanna do it on your face. On your face. Unless you want that, I can do that this time. <laughs> I do. Okay. I'll pay extra for it. Well, Madison, I am so excited to have you here today. Obviously, we have been friends for quite a long time now, and I know quite a lot about you, and I feel like a lot of the internet does as well. How has it been, like, growing up for you in the spotlight? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to put that. Uh, I mean, I try not to, like, be too dark and, like, morbid all the time, but I tend to just sway that way. So, I mean, it's, like, hard to pretend like it was all sunshine and roses because it really Absolutely. isn't and wasn't. And it was, like, actually a really difficult way to grow up. And I think a lot of people overlook that and don't realize how hard it can be to, like, have everything you do as a young person be, like, speculated and picked apart. And um, it was definitely something that I had to kind of, like, overcome. And, like, I had to learn how to value myself and, like, be able at the end of the day to self-validate. I never really had to learn how to self-validate because I I was always receiving like external validation, mm -hmm. especially at a really young age, which are like your peak developmental stages, especially with like finding yourself and becoming like a secure adult, young adult. I was able to, instead of having to like love myself, I was able to go read a bunch of comments that were really sweet. And then the second that that started to like turn on me or if I saw something that was like hate, it would destroy me and destroy yeah. my image of myself. And so then when I was like throughout, like I think it started when I was like 18, 19 and I was going through a really horrible time mentally is when I kind of had to be like, okay, if I don't care if all these people don't like me, as long as I like me, I can sleep at night. And yeah. It was just a, it was just a really like long journey, but I'm glad that I'm in a better place now and that I can actually, you know, look at myself and be like, you're, you're fine and you're a good person and that's all that really matters. That's really awesome to hear. I feel like, you know, I was kind of in the same boat where I got discovered when I was 16 and grew up in the same type of way. And I feel like, you know, there's obviously a lot of exciting pros that come with being like an influencer or like a public figure and stuff. But at the same time, mentally, it can be really, really draining and there's no guidebook either. Yeah, it's like, it takes such a toll on you mentally. And like you said, obviously there's so many, like I am so close with my fan base and like all my, everyone who supports me, I can love more, mm -hmm. but there's just a lot that comes along with it. And it can definitely be for someone, especially like me, who is like to begin with emotional and takes things to heart. It's, it can be tough. I only just realized my face was lopsided when that TikTok trend happened. You know, the like, oh, the one. Yes. I was like, oh, I'm gonna kill this. And literally I clicked the button and my whole face turns to the left and I'm like slopes off. I did the same thing. I was devastated. It was traumatizing. <laughs> my favorite look I think you've ever done was your brat stall. Really? Oh my God, I was so blown away when I was watching that in my bed. I was like, I need to get up and do this right now. Oh my God, thank you. That was so impressive. That was such a fun challenge. Oh my, that powder cool. literally tastes like candy. Yep, it's so bomb. Like they can't be good for you. Mm, who cares? Very matte. We're gonna, She's mad. We're gonna bring it back using some Madison Beer X Morphe. Seal the deal, luminous setting spray. Available now. You can use coaching for 10% off. I was gonna say that. <laughs> Why'd you steal my line? <laughs> right, it's giving you a cute little nose contour. I've never really contoured my nose. You don't need it. But this is so exciting. Nose contour is one of my favorite steps, but a lot of, like you have the perfect nose, so you definitely don't need it. But since I did such a full coverage foundation and it concealer, like... you have to add it back because then sometimes your nose gets lost. Whoa. So I'm just doing like a more subtle one. I'm gonna add a little bit more highlight to the center of your face. Okay. Where's a blush brush? 
Well, this one will work. Blush brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Kylie blush. This is one of my favorites in the shade Batty on the Block. Batty on the Block. That's us. I th that's true, that is <laughs> us. That looks so good. Hi, sisters. James Charles here. <laughs> the same note every time. Speaking of pitch, I really wanna ask you about your music because. Ooh. And I, oh. I really want to ask you about your music because we cannot deny that your songs are bops. Thank and you. they have been going viral so much recently, especially on TikTok as well. I know. How, okay, first of all, like how has TikTok impacted your music? TikTok? I, okay, so with my song Selfish, I released that song in like right before quarantine. I released it on Valentine's Day. And when quarantine started, I was like, oh, this is probably not going to be great for like promotional reasons. Obviously, right. you can't go do radio promo, whatever. And then all of a sudden, it just started going insane on TikTok. And I was like, what is this? Like, this app is literally making my song not flop, considering right. it would have probably with no promotion. It was so cool to see also just how people were coming up with their own creative ideas around like my song. I thought that was so awesome. Right. And I feel like usually with records that you're trying to push, it's like, you know, pretty just basic radio promo. You go, you sing the song, and like hopefully people like it. Like I felt like this one, well, this one really connected, and this one was really special to me because I was like, people are connecting with it themselves at home right. rather than like being having it like shoved down their throats on the radio. I feel like it was just a more organic way to grow it. And I really fought for that song to come out. Like my label did, didn't really believe in it per mm -hmm. se. And so I was really taken back that I had such an abundance of like support underneath it when it came out because I was not expecting it. So again, especially that was with Selfish was everyone was doing the run at the end of it. Yeah. And it was just awesome to see. And I loved seeing people just in their rooms during quarantine, you know, keeping busy. And, and it warmed my little cold heart. The other way. It was very cute. Wow, I love a nice, thick, juicy brow. That looks so beautiful. Do you like? Yes, I never do my brows like this. Okay, you ready to jump into eyeshadow? Yes. Okay, we're gonna pick up the Madison Beer X Morphe palette. First of all, this is literally so cute. I tried this out in a video a few weeks ago and I used this color. I'm obsessed with it. How good is it's it? It's the prettiest like formula ever. This color, honestly, this color and like this one were the ones that took so long because I this one I knew exactly what I was going for. And yeah. It took so long to get the right one, but I'm so happy that it, I was patient with it. How was it working with Morphe on the palette? Like I've always been into makeup and I've always watched YouTube videos and whatever. And so I always knew that I wanted to do something in makeup eventually, but I was really intimidated to do it alone. Right. And so like having someone like Morphe be, you know, down to part partner with me and like wanting to collab was so exciting and I feel like it's really given me like a little bit of experience and now I feel more confident in like staying in the makeup world a little bit more. For Madison's look today, we were texting back and forth deciding what we wanted to do and obviously it's spooky season so I really wanted to create something Halloween-y on Madison but obviously she's literally one of the most stunning people on the planet Earth so we wanted to still keep it very, very pretty so we came up with a very cool like spider makeup look. There's a lot of people that have done this on like Pinterest and stuff. It's a really, really cool 3D effect. It's so I, cool. however, have never done this before. So it's gonna be a first. I, I, said, I said to him, I was like, have you ever tried this? Did you watch a tutorial? He's like, no, I just am gonna do it. I'm like, this looks really difficult. I am just, I really am just like a go for it type of gal. You're just talented. So to do this, I'm gonna start off with the black smoky eye. Okay. Which is Haven't literally done that in years. my least favorite type of makeup look ever to do. Mm, I hate it, but I th it is like vital for this look. Good. But it'll look famous, because you're famous. Just a reminder. So I'm first gonna grab a little bit of the Cool Tone Brown shade called Jericho. I'm just gonna really put this right into the crease just for a nice, you know, wash of color. Now I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of Life Support, which is a more red tone brown right next door to the black. And I'm gonna add this in the crease. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Morphe Gel Liner in Jet. And we're just gonna use this black cream liner as a base for the black shadow. This always really helps blacks to stick. Okay, so now that we have the black base laid down, I'm gonna grab the black shade in the palette called Rabbit Hole. That is nice and spooky. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I am going to now turn Madison's eye into a spider. Spiders have eight legs, so there's gonna be one that's like... Good job, James. Chop, you're so <laughs> annoying. Wait, she put 10 legs on this spider. I just realized. Yeah, there's 10. She's wrong for that. Yeah, spiders only have eight. Right? This one looks like it has eight. I think she made like a big she daddy just, like, long leg. <laughs> she was like, let me just get in there. I love me a big daddy long leg. Okay, you guys. So it is now time to start making this spider look like it's something. Okay, Madison, one thing. Oh, I have to fart. Jesus. <laughs> no one is like this person. There's no one like you in the whole wide world. I don't fart on Madison. I love on me. Um. Are you gonna keep that in? Keep that in. <laughs> Keep that One in. thing that I really, really love about you is that you have a really, really cool sense of style. Like, what does fashion mean to you? How have you like developed your style over the past few years as well? I feel like with me, I 
am such a like sweatpant hoodie kind of person, but obviously that's not the chicest look ever. So it's been kind of about like finding stuff that's still really comfortable, but it's also cute and doesn't yeah. make you look ridiculous. So mm -hmm. do you not like heels? No. Really? That's why I wore Jordans at my birthday. Well, I walked into the situation with some heels on. I don't know if that was like a stylistic decision, it was. a last minute moment. It was a stylistic sure. decision, but also <laughs> I hate heels. So. Okay, got it. Yeah, if you ever see me in heels, you should know that they were on me for like max 20 minutes. It's just not my thing. Okay, the shading is looking questionable so far. Oh. Well, it's gonna look good once I now. This looks really good, James. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A full black liner. Yeah, oh, I think that's so once it's our, on, it's, it's one, on. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I think this is just gonna be like a focus moment okay. for us. This is this is our moment. Okay. Do spiders have like anything that like connects their joints? I mean, I don't think. I couldn't tell you. We do have ends and then I yeah. Mm. Spiders have little kneecaps. How cute. Look this way. Whoa. Oh, I am so famous. Oh my God. This is crazy. Okay, there we go. I was really, really doubting it at first. I, I've never doubted it. You know what did it for me? The knees. It was the knees. <laughs> oh my God. I'm liking how it's turning out. James it's Charles, like, everyone. Are you it's kidding kind me? Of like fun and fresh, oh, nice and spooky. You're iconic. Like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god, okay, now it's time to add some highlights to the spider knees. So let's do that. <laughs> the spider knees. Um, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm, really, really I'm so happy with that. That's insane. That looks so fun. Okay, you guys, well, this is one spider eye on Madison all complete. We are literally having so much fun just sitting here chit chatting yeah. and talking. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and cut the camera, do the other eye off camera, and then come back for the finishing touches because if we didn't, we'd honestly have nine oh. hours of footage just because we're getting very distracted. <laughs> so we will see you in a little bit. All right, sisters, Madison and I are back. And as you can see, we've made quite a lot of progress on today's look. We added on the lashes and drew on a whole nother spider on her cheek. Okay, Madison, one thing that I really want to know from you mm -hmm. is, you know, just like me, we have both been in, you know, our fair share of scandals mm -hmm. online, which we do not need to get into. <laughs> a lot of them are stupid. I want to know from you, I feel like you've done a really, really good job at just like staying positive, honestly, and like sticking it out through it. And I want to know like about that. Like, how do you remain positive? How do you stay motivated? And like, how do you like transfer that to your fans? as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that obviously like I have my dark days and I have my moments that I give into it and it's hard, but but um, I try to stay positive because I really do have such amazing fans and I try to focus on them, the people who do love me and know me and see me for who I am because I think that that's a testament to also how you are in like your real life and yes. I think that if you're with people and you surround yourself with people who know you and value you for your heart and your true colors then I think that that's what's really important. So I try not to focus on the negativity, obviously it like gets to me as I'm, I am a human being, but it still is something that I try not to like give into too much. And I think that like goes into, you know, the mental health journey I've kind of been on. And like, it's really a, a lot about self love and like finding your worth and knowing your value. And once you know that it's easier to not let it affect you. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. And then to fill in the lips, I'm gonna use, I think I wanna use a mix of both glosses actually from Madison's collection. Venus first on the lips, like kind of all over cause it's a very similar color to the lip liner that we just used. Oh wow, it's like literally an exact match to the lip liner we just used. And then right in the center, just to really plump in the lips a little bit more, I'm gonna grab some Mars. Oh, that is so cute. Mm. <gasps> Finally, last but not least to finish up this look on Madison, I'm gonna grab her Morphe X Madison Beer Seal the Deal Luminous Setting Spray. Give her a nice good spritz all over. And you guys, I believe that is this spider look all complete. Oh my God, I am obsessed with how this look turned out today. <gasps> You're I've so never done anything like this before, but I like I think you it looks good. Away. I think you blew yourself away. Too. I, we were I honestly both did. A little <laughs> I bit. did. This is amazing. Do you like it? Obsessed. I don't want to take this off until Halloween. Well, Madison, it was so much fun having you on the channel here today. Finally, after know, so many years of trying to do this, we made it happen for you guys, and we really hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below to show your love and support. Also, click that subscribe button and come join the sisterhood. And finally, click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts will be linked right here around the screen. And if you want to text me on my personal phone number for updates on videos, photos, merch, and so much more, my number is 310-905-8746. If you guys want to check out Madison, where can they find you? 
Madison Beer all across the board, and my palette and my entire collection is available at Ulta. All Morphe stores use code James for 10% off. <laughs> Period. And thank you guys for all your support, and I have my album coming soon, and a new single on its way, yeah. and I love you guys. Thank you for coming. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.